um, it's kind of windy again, so I don't know whether we're going to end up going up. But if not, I just sit in the plane and I run through emergency procedures and that kind of thing. Um, I find flying is actually quite uh, difficult, um, but uh, so much to remember. But in the next, I guess in the next five hours, I'll probably go solo. But we'll see. <clears throat> so today, if uh, I'm not flying, I'll um, I'll have a look around this all some of these hangars because people have got these some of these beautiful aircraft just hidden away. So I'll give you an idea of what's actually down here. And today we moved move or move house. Uh, my wife will be moving um, by about two o'clock, and then I'll get back around about four, and we'll be in our new place, uh, which is an Airbnb. But that's the lifestyle we've chosen at the moment, and it works pretty well. So, uh, interesting day today. We'll see what happens. Wind's supposed to be seven to ten knots, which I think is fine for landing, but it'll be a bit bumpy. But I don't know. Have to find out. Catch up. Well, the wind is gusting at about uh, 20 knots or so. Pretty intense. So I decided to go and have a look at one of the local hangars here and see some someone else's aircraft. Okay, so I'm here with uh, Mark and just going to have a look at his drifter, which is, um, what would you describe it as? An, is it an ultralight? Not really an ultralight, is it? Yeah, sports uh, light aircraft. Sport light aircraft. Yeah. And experimental because it's had a lot of changes made to it. Including the power plant and you done something to the wings as well? Yeah, oh, you put the... Um, fabricated all the second night. So in spite of the wind, which is pretty gusty, we went up for a flight, which was pretty crazy. And uh, I did some landings in this terrible wind. Uh, and the landings weren't so bad, but then I took off again and I almost wiped the plane out. <laughs> took out some of these marker cones with the wing. Um, yeah, that was interesting. But uh, yeah, we got through it. Um, and now I know what it's like to do crosswind landings, which are really <laughs> shockers. Anyway, all fun and games, till you die. Another day of flying. And today, because yesterday was so windy, flying in the afternoon, I've decided to come and fly at 7.30 in the morning because that's when the wind is pretty low. Uh, yesterday was pretty crazy with the crosswinds and uh, it's surprising we didn't kill ourselves. But today should be a lot calmer since it's only uh, it's early morning and um, it's up to about uh, what, about the 17th hour at this time I think. So not far away now from the solo. So we'll see how we go. That's the kind of windsock that I like to see. It's just hanging down there by itself, doing nothing, which means that there's no wind, which means that the circuit should be pretty cool. And of course, there are also helicopters. Interesting day today. No wind this morning when I started. That was pretty good. And then the wind picked up. And we were doing emergency landings and uh, landing on uh, rough runways and, oh man, and uh, my landings are getting better, but my touch and goes, which is where you land but you take off straight away, they're a bit of a mess. And um, 
I, uh, if I can learn on these runways here, then I can probably land just about anywhere because these runways are quite short. They're only like 580 meters and 700 meters long where at, you know, main airports are about 1800 meters long. And these runways are all grass and gravel and bumps and uh, man. So very exciting, interesting day. And I'm up to about, uh, I think I'm past 16 hours now, probably getting up to 17 hours. And they tell me that I'll probably uh, solo soon. Just got to perfect this um, touch and go stuff. So anyway, all good.